Now it is time for us to meet our special guest for tonight, a close friend of mine, I'm proud to say, and I'm delighted to note that the movie version of his Broadway hit, The Music Man, has been nominated for six Academy Awards, including the Best Picture of the Year. Here is Meredith Wilson. Let me tell you, I'm so appreciative of Meredith being on the show with us tonight because he is in New York and he is working like a dog. He's a tired man. You're working on a whole new Broadway show for next season, huh? Yes, I am, Gary. The title? The title is, uh, Here's Love. Here's Love, and it's going to star Janice Page. That's supposed to be a glass of champagne. Oh, here's Love. Very well. And we were out on the coast recently. I had the occasion to hear Rini, um, hear Meredith's wife, Rini, sing some of the songs for us, and they are just beautiful. But I suppose we better get down to work here now, uh, uh, Meredith. I take it from that baton that you have something musical in mind? Uh, yes, Gary, in that general area. Uh, well, how do these good folk back here fit into this picture? Well, uh, I tell you, uh, they're my secret. There your secret? Yes, well, in that case, you whisper to me, and we will see what this is all about. Well, uh, what is what is that going to accomplish? What? Well. The clue concerns something that they are going to do. Uh, Betsy Palmer, luncheon partner, we'll start with you. All right. Uh, Meredith. Hi, please, Betsy. How are you? Nice to have you back. Friend to we see missed you. you with the Salvation Army, as I said before. Oh, thank you. Those yes, wonderful people. We come people. back again, all right? I sure will. Any chance I get. <laughs> How's the dog, Meredith? Oh, hi, <laughs> Henry. Uh, tell me, are these people going to have anything to do with the music you have just written for your new musical? Uh, Betsy, no. They're not. Are they going to do... They're going to sing? Yes, ma'am. They are. Uh, are they going to sing something of yours? Um, I regret to say no. No. You are going to conduct them. They are going to sing songs that belong to someone else. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. And something's going to happen as a result? Well, uh, yes. During and uh, it happens, yes. Are these people, are people selected from the audience by any chance? Oh, no, no, no. no. $20 down, $60 to go. We go, please, to Henry Morgan. This is not a permanent unit, is it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know, but what we could get some booking with him, Henry, but I, I must say, yes, it is not a permanent unit. Now, are these people professionals? No, sir. Are the cards they're holding... <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> this, is, there, is there a point to what they're going to do that we really could guess? I mean, you know. Oh, I certainly say so. You would? Oh, yes, Henry. Let I've me... heard you guess a lot harder things than this. Yeah, not me. The <laughs> smart ones do that. Are they going to do a, a, a thing in part? You know, like this section does this thing and the other section does another thing. Uh, are you speaking canonically or anything like that? Canonically. No, they're not going to. No, I didn't mean canonically. <laughs> forty dollars down and forty dollars to go, and canonically we go to Best Myers. I don't even know what well, it means. Well, Meredith, they're not going to do anything canonically. Are they going to do anything alphabetically? Do not they... until I say hello to you, you beautiful Beth. Oh, <laughs> are they going to? You'd be nice. Are they going to do anything alphabetically? In other words, are there letters or words? on those cards. Are there words on those cards? Uh, I wouldn't call them words. Now, Are Gary, notes? you may rule me out, but uh, no. I wouldn't call them words. Are they letters? There are some letters involved, yes. And when you conduct, they will hold up their letters. Certain sections of them will hold up their letters at a specific time, and they will spell out Happy Easter panel. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. I suppose they could be called... I suppose they could be called what? words. I don't want to mislead her, but you know what I meant, oh. Gary. Well, to the to folks involved here, they are not words. Words, no, really. Spe specifically, no. I mean, no. being terribly specific. Now, we go to Bill Cullen. Hi, Bill. Hi, Meredith. We worked together a long time ago on another we panel sure show. Did. We sure did. What is canonically? Uh, 11 years ago. <laughs> Wait, 14? 11 years ago. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> not 11. Maybe it was 12. Yeah, it's been a... What is canonically? That's what I can't... Canon. Oh, Oh, well, uh, Meredith is going to direct them, and the first time he does something with a stick they don't like, thing with a cannon. <laughs> uh, is music going to come out of this, Meredith, in a oh, sense? Oh, in a sense, yes. Pleasing, 
They're oh, all laughing. They're they're laughing. Well, they're, ju they're, they're, they're just sad. modest. Bill. Do they know what they're about to sing? They certainly do. Yes. They're each, they each one have a note. Oh, and they have, only. They have, uh, they have a, a note, yes. And only a note. And a word. Well, they have, I, I think maybe it's only a note. Could be more. No, yeah. there are some, some of them have two or three. Some of them, them like you do the glasses when you point well, to them. Well, final, take a good look at this group of people because they represent the most unique glee club in the world. Every member of this group was handpicked by our staff from the New York telephone books. <laughs> and they're all big name singers. Oh, what I mean to say is when they <laughs> sing their last names in the proper sequence, we should have the lyrics of a popular song. Oh, oh. there's a button I could show. I didn't.